That is what? You extort sex in exchange of what I really need from you. Key findings of the research, first of all, is that we have very good laws. Uganda has got some of the best laws within the region. However, the implementation is still almost not there, if not very weak. Now, the second finding is that uh, most of the employers do not put in place what we refer to as uh, violence and harassment committees in place. We should be able to address the reporting mechanisms and even challenges of harassment and violence. But interesting enough, we've also found that in both the three sectors, whether health, whether education, whether energy, women suffer more in terms of sexual harassment compared to men. We also want to note that uh, one of the key challenges is that many workers still fear to report the incidences of sexual harassment. And then just as we've followed within the discussion, the biggest stigma is the embarrassment associated with reporting harassment and violence. And also the issue of people thinking it is a culture. So it is very important that uh, the union, they work together, all of them together, to see that actually sexual harassment is reduced in the workplace. And how? By lobbying, they have to lobby, they have to create awareness in all places of employment. They have also to ensure that the policies that are in place are implemented. The principal act that we have right now is talking about more than 25. You must have more than 25 employees to have a committee or to have a policy in place or to have any other issue to combat sexual harassment. However, we are amending the law to say that every employer, be it a home, be it someone who just has any, maybe one employee or two employees or five, or even the informal sector, they should come up with uh, the policies and all other, all other mechan mechanisms to curb uh, sexual harassment. And everyone, and the leadership of PSI International,